What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we are back, and today we're here to discuss the question of how Monster Hunter has perfected the gameplay loop and the things that they did in this game that worked out so well. That worked that not just it was implemented in the Monster Hunter world. I'm just using this one because I enjoy world a lot, but through all of their games over the generations, and we're going to talk about that versus some other elements in other games that should be a live service game but don't live as long as Monster Hunter just because of how addicting the gameplay loop is. So my family, without further ado, that is that in. Before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Best Buy. Thank you so much for supporting this smooth family and sponsoring this video. But check out some juicy products. Make sure you guys stay tuned. So you're looking for a PC and you don't want to put everything together yourself, but look no further because Best Buy has you covered. They partnered with Cyber Power PC to create an all-encompassing PC that's designed put together and you don't need to do any kind of work and it just works i go just plug it in set it up and you're good to go they hooked us up this is going to be my streaming pc inside you see all the components of the, com of the computer this thing is amd powered it's using a ryzen 5 7600 has 16 gigabytes of memory it has nvidia geforce rtx 3060 500 gigabytes of ssd storage and it comes in this beautiful white color right here this thing is one I'm going to be using for my, I have a dual PC set up now. I have this one for my streaming. I'm going to handle all my gameplay and I have another computer to handle my gameplay. That way we have the most juiciest frames, 4K gameplay without any kind of lag at all. They did a really fine job of the design. This looks cool. It has RGB, all the things that your boys love to have in your computers. Also look at inside of it. Very, very, very clean cable management very clean very tight i know a bunch of you guys are out there like dj look at look at your cable management don't worry about my cable management inside this pc is absolutely disgusting and beautiful it's available right now from best buy link in the description it saves you all the hassle no one's doing any kind of work just plug it in and play and you can do to play all the games you love so it didn't just stop there best buy also hooked us up with the samsung 980 pro and what this does is we installed it into the computer allowing us to have all of our games all of our streaming information all on the same device it has a read speed of seven gigabytes and a write speed of five gigabytes absolutely insane so check it out link in the description thank you best buy for sponsoring this video so to start this topic off we're going to talk about the most important thing i think which makes the differentiator between other games is the skill based version of the game compared to essentially leveling up and being able to over level your character to the point where you can do some disgusting damage and run through the enemies and this is going to be a more of a conversation kind of video style so i'll start off by saying that when you look at other games in the market like when you compare this game to like a game like not saying any other game is bad by any mean i'm just comparing the games for like objectively when you look at monster hunter i am at the end of the game and this is my end game build and if you notice the monster's not dead already when i say the monster's not dead already it means the gameplay here is going to be focused on skill base gameplay because even if i maximize my character i cannot just walk in and just destroy the monster in two seconds and comparing that to some other games is that's kind of how it is like I, when you get to a certain level and i'll just use elden for example because it's one of the most popular games in this category once you get to the point where you can over level you can over level allowing you to be able to just one shot the enemies and at that point the challenge is gone and the thing that keeps a lot of games appeal is they have some kind of difficulty element to them some challenge to them that keeps you roped into the game because you want to get better you want to hit that monster down and a lot of times unfortunately when that challenge is done that's when you see the most people drop off of the game the player base decreases because people are no longer finding the game challenging because yeah as cool as it seems and looks to be as walking and one shot the monster is how how how's how, how's your gaming experience gonna be when you walk in one shot one walk in one shot walk in one shot and the monster is dead at that point versus like oh that's not really fun compared to in this game since for for example with like i said i'm maxed out but if i'm not paying attention to the fight this monster can't take me down which keeps me on my toes 
So that is one of the main factors why I feel that Monster Hunter has figured it out. And I have a lot more points to talk about in terms of like what keeps people coming back to the game. But I would just speak to the point that the base thing that you do the most in the game, the, the fights with the monsters are action packed because they are difficult. They are difficult. And you have to learn the monster movesets. You have to be working on your timing because if you don't, you're going to be taken out. I think another thing that developers got to realize is people like a challenge to their games because that's what made the series like Dark Souls popular. People like brutal gaming experiences. They like it when they have something to look forward to. And when you make it too easy, your game just doesn't do it. It doesn't live as long as it could have. And people just kind of play for a little bit and they're over with it. But if you want people to you want people to stick around and play your games longer you if you don't have some kind of differentiated element into your game people are not going to hang on so that's why i feel like in this game there's a good spice of enemies that are super difficult there's enemies that are not they're more accessible and that's what makes the game fun because it gives you something to work up to versus just i don't know being content with whatever is available which brings me to my next point in the game and this is I'm really a big fan of things that you do often or every single day in the game need to be refined. And when I say refined, I mean it has some depth to it. So for example, in Monster Hunter, there's 14 different weapons you can choose from. And all these women's weapons are intricate. They're different from each other that every time you start a new weapon in the game, it feels like you're starting the game over because the loop of the game is hunting, fighting, and if the core mechanic that you're playing the game through the weapon is changed, then it changed completely how you play the game. So for me, I play longsword and it's a spicy, juicy weapon, but there's a ton of different weapons that you can choose from in your play style that fits your style. There's weapons for close range weapon, uh, range weapons, slow weapons, fast weapons, medium weapon, anything that you can think of. In terms of what you like in other games, I guarantee you can find it in Monster of Monster Hunter. So, for instance, I put a longsword. Why did I put a longsword? Because the weapon feels like a dance. It's a counter-based weapon, meaning that you do a lot of your big damage by countering the enemy's attack. And countering means like they hit you, you block it, and you get an invasion attack right afterwards. For me, it's fun. It keeps the the, the danger high, I would say, the risk reward, because if you get that counter, that juicy counter, you get that juicy dump damage as well, which keeps it fun. So with that being said, it forces me, not forces me, it makes me want to master my weapon and learn every and single intricate piece of the weapon as well. Yo, if you're watching this video, you need a longsword build, go watch mine because it's pretty good, and I really go into detail. But every single weapon the buttons every single button does something different in terms of how you interact with the what with the with the weapon with the game there's different kinds of movesets you can learn that when you put them all together it just makes for an extremely fun gaming experience so i think the for me the one thing is the weapon density and there's lots of information that kind of help you kind of get through it as well if you're like if you're wondering, oh, how do I maximize this weapon? There's tons of guides. There's tons of things online you can find. For example, here's all the abilities I can use specifically for my weapon. And some useful combos as well that you might want to check out. But this is one of the reasons why I feel this game is so good. Is because the gameplay element in terms of the weapons that you use are top-notch, refined. And this is a refinement over time. Yeah, this isn't the first iteration of the game. But it's the more people developers put into making their combat system intricate, but not overly complicated, but simple. That's what the balance is. It'll keep people coming back to the game because people want to master the game. People want to see what really, really good combos and counters and damage looks like. And that's what you're going to find inside of the game. So now when it comes to monsters, there are a ton of monsters in the game. And there's fast monsters, slow monsters, heavy monsters, elements of best base monsters, there's dragons, there's birds, there's all kinds of things in the game that every monster feels unique. And the one thing I really like about this game is I started off playing like the Elder and Dark Souls game. And I, I know I, I make a lot of comparisons there because those are my the games I really gravitate to through the most. But every single fight in this game feels like an action-packed boss fight. And if you love like really good boss fights, then 
you'll love this game as well because every single monster is intricate is different is fun i'll just show a couple for a second so you can kind of get a peek of what you're missing out on is they just all feel unique and completely different in terms of how they fight how they move how you have to react or timing and which makes every single boss because it is a boss fight gives you opportunity to kind of learn to move learn to dance and when you if you're interested and you like that kind of things then you'll absolutely love the experience and that's what keeps the loop, go the loop going as well it's like well if i in order for me to get my counter out i need to be able to parry better and how do i parry better but more playtime fighting against the monster i can learn the move sets which is where this dance mythology comes from so here we go raging bracket deal he has he goes through three phases and his last phase just goes even crazier and does a, even more crazy moves and the fights just one thing that's cool about the fights here is as you continue to fight on they get more intense as they go on because as the monster gets closer to getting killed it gets angry it goes through agitated phase and each time it starts to put in a different layer of a skill that really really keeps you on your toes so right now it's chill this monster has the ability to have it's like we call him mike tyson because he's a boxer his fists explode and could one shot you if needed and the thing is it's like no you got to learn that move to identify when you're safe also too in this fight he drops little bomb stickies on the floor if you go on for too long you explode so not only you find this big old boss you're fighting the environment as well and he's super quick and deadly and you got this action-packed soundtrack coming through as well that kind of keeps the, the fight just going so this dude is probably one of my favorite fights in the game really really fun fight challenging and it will take some time to get through them when you're new but when you do you feel so good after that fight now here's another monster that's one of my favorite monsters no other than rajang and this dude's a beast he's fast aggressive you can turn super saiyan like goku reacts out of nowhere and it kind of keeps it's so good it keeps the fight action packed and he's one of those fights if you're not on your toes regardless of how strong you are how much you prepare you will catch some knuckles and you will hit the ko screen so there's just to give it just a little taste of the variety of the monsters i'm not sure exactly how many total monsters there are just know there's a lot of them and from different speeds different powers all the things you can experience is it makes it for a truly amazing experience as i'm trying to make this i'm focused on not getting clapped in the moment as well so ladies and gentlemen that's why i truly think the monsters are it's fun because you're just always learning different things depending on what you're into there's a ton of monsters in the game that kind of go through there goes this command man how could you say no so I'll kind of keep my next two points kind of like loop them up together because they go hand in hand and it's a loop system and the builds that you can craft in this game. So the way it works is you fight a monster, after you fight a monster, you get materials from carving the monster or you get them after your, the end, end of the, you know, the fight. You get specific things, you get those things, allows you to make specific weapons. If you look in the middle, it tells you the things you need to make different weapons. There's tons of different weapons you can choose from, tons, tons, tons of different armor you can choose from all requiring different things which kind of makes you fight the monsters over and over but that's fine because you're enjoying the monster experience you're mastering your weapon at the same time and when you finally get the loot that you need you can make that new weapon that can take your gameplay to the next level there's different builds you can use based on elements raw the status like poison paralysis all the things you can do to kind of switch things up then when it comes to your armor this set every armor has a set bonus and set bonuses are cool because it tells you all different things that that armor can do based on what the skill sets are on that piece of gear as well so you push it in and it tells you what does this skill do increases your attack there's tons of skills in the game that you can kind of learn and mix and match to make your sets even more powerful if you want to go a cushion build make sure you're not taking that much damage you can do that you want to do a mortal build when you heal when you hit an enemy you will live forever you can do that you want to do a main dps build where you're just slamming fools with big power and big numbers you can do that as well so that's where this game truly truly comes together and really shine because there's so many different ways to customize your set and i know some people will be like oh my god dj 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 it's too much to take in, but it's really not. Once you take things little by little and you learn, there's tons of resources online that kind of help you set the game. There's decoration, 
decorations, add new elements and skills to your game, to your armor pieces. That's kind of helped them expand. And on top of that, there's augmentation you can use to make your gear even better too. Say you want to take your weapons to the next level, increase attack, increase its critical and defense, but even more slots for jewels, health region. I hit the enemy, I get health back. Elemental up, you want to change the way the weapon looks. If I'm tired of this way this weapon looks, I can switch it up and give myself some new aesthetics to make my, my character, my hunter look fresh as well. So the gameplay loop is, this is one of the reasons why I feel that Monster Hunter is, a lot of people confuse it for a live service game, but it's not because it's just so well done and refined that it makes it feel like it is, but it isn't just because the gameplay loop is just so satisfying. But this has been my video to kind of break down why I feel Monster Hunter has perfected the gameplay loop. I'm excited for the next game. If you guys are playing the game, you need help. My community is really big on Monster Hunter, so you can come in one of my videos, ask questions, someone will help you out. You can join our Discord as well. We just chat about all the things coming up in gaming up until this point. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Best Buy, thanks for sponsoring the video. My family, till next time, dear gamers, signing out.